I'm noticing this troubling trend, this easy way out by seeking to ban things. Now, there are certainly things that we want to ban, drinking and driving, for example, or secondhand smoke, or the use of cell phones in classes, right? You certainly want to ban those kind of things because those activities have detrimental impact on others. I understand that. Those are good ones. However, we're seeking to ban individual choice in many cases. And for example, in Iowa here, we ban certain books, right? We, we ban certain books from students reading them, books like 1984 and Brave New World and To Kill a Mockingbird. Can you believe that? Yeah, we ban these books, but instead of banning those, we should teach responsible decisions and critical thinking. We should let the student or the young person work with their parents or work with their teacher to decide, is that book relevant for me? Same thing with social media, right? We're saying we should ban usage of social media until a certain age. Well, shouldn't that be the decision that the student and their parents make to think critically through what is going on and to have a sense of ownership and responsibility established? So when you, when you go right to the banning option, especially for individual decisions, you're missing an important opportunity to teach critical thinking and responsible actions. So think very carefully before you ban stuff. There are all sorts of unintended consequences that ripple when you ban stuff, right? Banning alcohol <laughs> didn't work so well. Prohibition didn't work so well. So you need to think carefully about it. But we should never seek to override an individual person's chance to establish their own sense of critical thinking and their ability to think responsibly about their actions. Cheers.